so, um, oh, my journal, uh, so the first several pages are usually, usually, um, ignoring all of the high level bookmarks, um, the first roughly two, three pages are usually, um, index pages, so, you usually are writing down, you know, what pages go where and everything else. Um, let me clean my desk for a second. Um, so you usually write down where things go and where things went and whatever. Um, and you always want to make sure you have lots and lots of extra room. I have bookmarks in mine because they're one of the things lots of people end up doing is putting in ribbon bookmarks. And they'll glue them or they'll already be there. I like these. They're magnetic. I can move them around. I have more than three. Um, the next set of pages that I've done is um, the year. The year itself. Now mine starts only in May. Uh, May and goes through to December. Um, but what I've done is I have, instead of a great big calendar, like one page or something like that, I enjoy this because I can list out important holidays when things start, stuff like that. Um, and I also have minis so that I can see what days are what without having to really think about it. Um, and then the next page that I have, and again, this is all how you want to do it. So the way I did it is my next page is the month, the month itself. So when is a bill due, when are holidays. So any of the stuff that usually I put up here in the year, I put also in May, plus some extra things. So holidays, vacation days, stuff like that all go in here as well. Um, and then I didn't use much of the page, so I decorated it afterwards with some colors to match the uh, picture I glued down. Um, then the next page I have, and this is really only if you do a lot of colored -y stuff, is, uh, and again, it's whatever you want. So my next page happens to be my color swatches which are important to me because I have so many markers and so many pencils and I need to know what colors I have and what they do on the page um, and what they look like. So this isn't just good for, you know, my journal, it's good for a bunch of other things if I want to see what colors are what I know. Um, and then I decorated that in a rainbow style as well. Um, the next page is an individual page. So it's the day individually, it's May 20th. A um, couple of things that were going on that day. I was going somewhere, so I was needed to pack stuff, so I wrote down a packing list, things that needed to be packed. The whole thing has a Hawkeye theme. I did a journal entry for the day, because I can. Um, and that one I would, and this one I would really only use if, say, I had a lot of things going on, or I needed a lot of space, is really what I would use this for. Um, so not a lot of people are, would end up using this, but it does have uses. Um, so this is a temperature gauge, you could also use this as a mood gauge, um, whatever you want really. Um, but this is because I'm making a blanket uh, out of crochet, one row for every day. And so I need to know, based on this color scheme I have, which correlates to the same color of yarn, what color I'm doing. So I've made it to here, and I'm down here. We're actually up here now. Um, so I can work on that. But you can use it as a mood guide so you can see, okay, I'm having more good days than bad days, you know, what's going on. Um, and I like the idea of using this setup for a mood versus what most people do, which is little graphs and things inside their uh, months, days, and months, days, and weeks. Um, and I prefer it because 
it allows for me to see the whole year, not just, you know, um, not just the, um, the month or the week, you know, things like that. So I can see how I'm doing the whole year and I can I can look at the year and say okay I've been having more good days than bad days I should probably like talk to my therapist about that or whoever um, and I only say therapist because of mental health issues and things like that so now one of the things that I don't do in here but a lot of other people do is the classic key um, you know, this symbol means this and da 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 and I don't use it because I don't, I don't need it. I have my own internal key, you know, it works for me. Um, you can look up the bullet journal key if you want. Um, there are thousands of images of the key. Um, this is one of the other ways to do days, which most people also do. So what most people um, sometimes do keyword sometimes and I don't know why I say most a lot so some people will do a week in review so they'll have the week and then they'll also have the individual days um, I have the week because and not the individual days like on a separate page or whatever and it's because I'm currently in the middle of summer and by this point I had no classes I didn't start this until after classes ended so there was no reason for me to have individual days or anything. Um, this one I also did in the same fashion as the other ones, which I used stamping up products. Well, not stamping, but stamping up products. Um, and they're really good water-based products. All of their products are water-based, so you have watercolor pencils, you have watercolor markers, you have uh, watercolor inks, you have, you know, these aren't their brand. We have watercolor pens, they have a bunch of good things like that. They're a uh, stationary scrapbooking company. So they're all about, you know, cards and things like that. And then they have, which I don't have out. Yes, I do. Um, but they also have uh, these stamps. Um, these ones are the older 2005, 2002 set. So back when I lived in Texas. <laughs> but these are rubber, so let me pull them out. Now the cool thing is that with the stamps you, um, you used to, and some of them you still do, but they have three different sets of stamps. Um, shameless plug, I love these things. Um, but they have multiple stamps, you know, uh, but they have these wooden block ones with these rubber stamps, which are cool. Um, and so with the markers, which I actually have one out, so like, this is one of their markers. All their markers have a brush tip and a pen tip. Um, the pen tip kind of functions like a, it's not felt tip, it's like a quill tip. So, and I can't really show you, but when you push on it, it separates and allows the ink through. Um, but then you can just color on them. So like, that's how I got these individual colors because I colored it with one of these markers um, and this is a different stamp but this is just one of their older rose stamps and then these are watercolor these are part of a watercolor uh, based looking set um, and they have outlines but I don't like the outlines uh, partially because I can't see them but they also now have um, clear blocks where you can where when you put them on they're clear the stamp is clear the block is clear you can see what you're putting down where you're putting it and everything else they also have a photopolymer set that are the same way but you can remove them no the clear ones do the same thing you can remove from the clear as well but the photopolymer you can put a lot more on one stamp on one block instead of like the clear ones so but I plan on ordering a bunch of those um but that's how I decorated this uh and I meant to refill that in oops my order um 
I need to do that eventually. Um, one of the things, because I'm a huge nerd, if you can't tell by my Hawkeye page, um, I, I'm a nerd, so I have my cosplay build list. You know, because I need to keep track of that. I still have a lot to do. That's what it is. Um, so, because I'm in college, one of the things I've done is I need to keep track of what grades I'm getting, you know, what classes I've done, whatever. Stuff like that. So, um, you know, for my computer science and my geology minor, um, what I've done is I've written out everything I need to accomplish. And I mean everything. This is starting from my general ed all the way down to my free, to my CF, my major electives and then my minor um and this is just so like and i'm going to leave this empty just in case i fill in more minors and stuff because this is going to take forever um and so one of the things is i can see okay i got an a in english 101 or i got a com 101 and an a and so on and so forth um and then back to the so the month ended so usually when the month ends one of the next couple of pages after a while is the next month so this is june so i started june out um, just like may i still have my small calendar some people do the really big calendar where they can write in it i'm not a fan of that i don't like it because i have way too much going on on one day sometimes and i feel like i have to fill it in it's white space that must be filled um as far as the calendar page goes so instead what i do is i write down a small one and if i need certain days i list them out um and what that does is it keeps me from freaking out because i know that this page can be decorated and this is again the same stamps different colors different markers um, the only problem with these markers is that with this paper specifically, it bleeds through. Um, so this is where the fun begins because it says June week one and two. And again, because I'm in the middle of the summer, I'm not doing much during the day. So what I've decided to do is I decided to put multiple weeks on one page. Kind of the calendar thing, but I kind of fill it in as I go. So I have week one of June, week two of June, and technically it's week one because Thursday, Friday, Saturday is right here. First, second, and third of June, right there. Um, and so there's that. Now these little boxes are, I work on an hourly basis, on an appointment hourly basis. So I use this to keep track of my hours so that I know what I'm supposed to be putting on my timesheets for work. Um, the next page is my timesheets for work. So I have all of my period periods written down. I have all of my due dates written down. I have all of the dates that I'm going to get paid for those written down. And I have what I'm going to get paid for them. So once I submit my timesheet, um, I know immediately how much I'm going to get paid. And I put that down. Um, and so I also write down the dates because um, it allows me to, instead of having to go, okay, Worked from here to here. Okay, I worked from here to here, here to here. I can just right here, right here. And it just immediately goes here, and I can write it down, and I know immediately. Okay, this is a hundred. This is ten hours. Okay, this is sixty hours or six hours. It's not sixty. Um, and then again with the week three, four, and five for June. You know, because again, I don't do much, so I have small things, like timesheets are to watch my nieces, stuff like that. And so I have a bunch of that. Um, a bunch of the pages still need to be decorated, which I'll get to eventually. Um, this next page is my habit page. Um, and so I have my habits written out lengthwise, like most people do. Um, but they're all different colors, and I'll go in more into that in a moment. Because I also started this at the end of the month, so this whole page needs to be decorated. Um, then I have my July page. Again, the same format. Smaller day, and that. And I actually need to update my uh, index really bad. 
And then the important day, so the 4th is Independence Day, we paid on the 11th, the 14th is my birthday, 19th is grandma's, and some birthdays and stuff, a bunch of July babies. <laughs> um, okay, so here's my habit page. And I can't, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, there we go. Okay, so what I did is I went 1 to 31, and I didn't do it this way, just because I needed, I wanted to make sure I had room. A lot of room just in case I decide to add anything on and so I have and I have horrible hygiene habits so uh, yeah but this is like and you know some mental things going on so I need to keep track of these what seem very basic things but are actually really hard for me to keep going because my brain does not always cooperate with me so you know brushing my hair brushing my teeth washing my face moisturizing you know other things like that um i have calculus work that i constantly need to do crochet and granted i'm not taking calculus but i need to study it anyway uh, cosplay workings painting or coloring whatever rg thing i want to do um and i have room for more stuff and that's just my delay habits um and then this page is going to be my work in progress page so like my, my week's almost over um but for july i have i have july week one now this is probably going to be filled in with week one two three and four just because i have these sets of days which not much is going to go on and then i'm going to do it again and do it again and do it again and i'm going to end up filling the whole page with the entire month and that's okay that's fine it's your journal you do with it as you wish you can do these if you have very minimal um you have these i mean you've got the individual pages a lot of people like to do one of these before they do one of these um, this was on a Sunday though. Monday, Sunday. Sun Saturday. This was a Saturday. Um, so I didn't start until like Friday. Um, so a lot of people will do one of these and then they'll do one of these. Um, or they'll do a lot of people I've seen do one of these and they keep going. Um, back to this and so I do this um, most likely what will happen is I'll do what everybody else does for the week which is I'm going to spread the information out so like Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday um, and the reason is is because like I'm really making this video for a friend of mine anyway so what will probably happen is um, during the semester in August Yes, August. We start back up in August. In August when classes start, you know, I'll start putting... So one of my ideas is... Where's my pencil? Is... So if I get an assignment... If I receive an assignment to be done on Monday, I write down the assignment and I write down the due date. And then what I do is I come back here and I write down... Probably I'm going to end up writing down the date it's due and the assignment I have. And then, so if I get it on the 3rd, and say it's due on the 13th, or the 10th, or whatever, pick a day, then the next thing I'm gonna do is when I make my consequent days, I wanna make sure I'm scheduling that I'm working on some sort of homework. I wanna give myself an arbitrary deadline and the reason for that is because I want to make sure that I'm done with my homework before it's due. I have a procrastination problem. So what I'm going to end up doing is writing a, uh, like I'll end up doing, so I'll write it down, I'll write it down again, and then I'm probably going to have a bunch of these pages planned out ahead of time because I understand what my course load's going to look like. I know exactly what it's going to look like. I'm gonna have like one week is two pages. So what I'm gonna do is like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday. Anyway, and then I'm going to on the next 
And when I see that day, I'm going to write down, this is due. But it's in pencil, on a different day, I'm going to put down an arbitrary, this is due. Because it is due. To me. So that way I don't have to worry about doing my homework or whatever. Now, one of the other things I want to do, and... There's room plus some extra. So, on this particular notebook, and you want to, of course, make sure that every notebook works. Um, so, this is something to do, and I don't care for these kinds of quote planners. Um, so, I have this planner, and it separates things out on days. But the problem with it is that I don't use it. I don't like it. I don't care for it. Um, it separates the day out into the hours and whatever. The problem is, is that it starts at 8 in the morning and it ends at like 8 o'clock at night. I don't function like that. I'm not. I can't. I'm a night owl. So I'm up from midnight. And so I'm up until 1 in the morning. Possibly working on something. Possibly not. Who knows. Um, I'm up till 1 in the morning and then... I get up at 8 and then I'm up again till the next 1 in the morning. I gotta do a clear eraser. There you are. So, a new kind of timetable thing, and instead of doing an individual page is whatever, um, this is for kind of a more minimalistic kind of look. So, all you do is so you write down. So, like, I would go. Um, and you can do it for 30s. 10s, 15 minutes, I would do 15. So we do like 12, 15, 30, 45, and one. So that's what? Four? One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. Two, three, eight. Now, mind you, because I've noticed this pattern, it does this, and then you would have 15 again. You want to make sure you're doing it on two pages. You're, you're going to need an, a full two-page spread for this. Um, just so you can make sure you're getting your full, you know, 12 to 12 to 12. But this is essentially what it's going to look like. And you're going to have 12, 15, 12, 12, 15, 3, 30. So, because you can't see through my hand, 12, 12, 15, 12, 30, 12, 45, 1 o'clock so on and so forth, all the way down the line. Um, and then what you can do, so let's erase this. And this is just for a simple timetable. I need to work on this, but I can only work on 15 minute increments. Cool. Um, so what you can do is you can take each box, and so we go one, two, three, four, So let's say an entire month. So that is an entire month of days. Okay. So what you do is, okay, it's, say, so today is the fifth. Um, today is the fifth, say I've already got the day planned. So currently I want to make sure that I'm doing something for this hour. And that would be like one color. So what you would do is you would find space, probably this space over here, 
-hmm. This works well for classes and other things where you have schedules that need to be attended to. So what you can do is, so you can color, so if you have math, you have science, you have English, you have work, and you have art. Let's go with that. So this, for all intents and purposes, because I'm using a pencil, we're going to do this. Like that. So you give yourself a key. So this would all be math work because of the way I colored it in. And so say I go to sleep at one and I wake up four in the morning or like I have something else. I'm not doing anything until four, whatever. So then say I wanted to start on English and I've got a paper due at seven, so. They're not in the same line and I don't care. So you fill that in. And so you can plan out your day without taking up 365 pages. You can do it without too much hassle. It's only taking up two pages and it's just noon to noon, noon to noon. Or midnight to noon, noon to midnight. And then you do that and so I think it would be helpful because it Because sometimes with those planners that are like this, but they're 365 days, again, I like to fill white space. I don't like white space. It bothers me. Um, but you can color it, so you can make these instead of like dashes and dots, whatever, you can make them colors. And so you can just kind of X them out, whatever. Whatever flows your boat. But what it also does is it, I think it has the potential to, okay, I need to work on math whatever math that may be, because you don't, you might not know what you're doing exactly. You have the choice to switch, but you're still locked into the I have to do math or I have to do English, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but I think that would be a good timetable type of thing for uh, doing a timetable that's not 365 days. It also takes into account those late night people, those early morning risers who don't function from eight in the morning to like 10 at night. I function well past this time. I don't function before that time, but I function after it. So yeah, but that's currently my journal. Um, I'm going to erase this big, but currently that's my journal and that's how I'm filling it in. But again, that's my journal, that's mine. You know, you use any journal, any markers, any whatever, you know, a lot of people like the midline stuff. I, you know what, I have, I have my markers, my Stampin' Up! markers, my dual tips. A lot of people like them, um, well not like them, a lot of people actually don't know about this, but I have a blender, just a little blender for all of my colored pencils. Um, but one of, the, one of the pros to having one of these, and the reason I like it is because during the day, it gives you a time to zone out, kind of plan the next day or plan whatever you're about to do. And it also gives you that time to kind of be creative, like, again, I'm here, I'm over here, I'm on June, I'm, I'm on July, I'm working on weeks, whatever. But it gives me that time daily to think about what colors do I want to use, what scheme do I want to use. You know, it gives me time every week to sit down and do things like this. Be creative about it. I can create something. Granted, uh, you, nobody's probably gonna ever look at this, but I like this journal. I don't, I like it better 
than most planners because they're too structured. There's not enough freedom and it bothers me. I like freedom. I like the ability to turn it into what I want and it's a more creative option to the planner. My mother and sister love their planners, their pre-built and everything else and they've made them work but I hate them because I have to fill in the white space. The white space bothers me. But in a notebook like this, I don't feel the need to fill in the white space. Um, I don't have to. I like to. Like this white space needs to be filled in. This might eventually. This needs to be filled in. That needs to be filled in. But I can turn it into a combination sketchbook and planner. Now, you can use any kind of paper. You know, you can use graph paper like I'm using. Um, a lot of people use dot paper um, if you really want to. Although it's the more expensive option, as I drop something, you can use, say, watercolor. If you're one of those people, you can use a watercolor notebook, or not notebook, but uh, you can use a watercolor thing. Because the reason is, is because, of course, it's watercolor. You don't have to worry about markers bleeding, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. This it's like a blood stain for a reason too um it's not it's just a bunch of red paint that sat in a bubble but you can work on it without fear of bleeding um and that's one of my biggest fears because i like to work in water i have aqua brushes and i love to work with them and i don't like to work with yes yeah, so. um but you know you pick up a journal whatever Journal, we act there. Uh, Bar I know Barnes and Noble sells specific bullet journal journals. Um, the moleskin, there's the uh, 1917, I think, um, and some others. But you know, it's up to you. You can use one of these and get started and get a feel for it. You know, it's a good beginner journal because you don't know what you're gonna do, and it's great for figuring it out. Um, and not to mention the fact that the other journals are actually much smaller in size. So, being aware of that. Um, but anyway, so that is all I have on building a new bullet journal. I think I'm going to go back to playing video games now. Bye!